Hi everyone, today we're gonna learn the additional method to solve a system equation. So please watch the whole video and don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. Everyone, today we're gonna learn how to solve a system equation by addition method this time. So here I wrote some steps we follow. The first step is to put the equations in standard form as ax plus bx equals c. And the second step is to determine which the variable to eliminate. And the third step is to multiply the equation and solve. And the fourth step is to plug back into to find the other variable. And the last step is to check the solution. Now let's move to the first example. So to solve this equation, we're gonna uh, follow the steps. So here we have 2x plus y equal 9 and 3x minus y equal 16. They are both in the standard form. So now I'm going to choose which uh, verbal to eliminate. So I'm going to choose the y because it's the easiest one to choose. So I have here 2x plus y equal 9 and 3x minus y equal 16. So now I'm going to try to add uh, the equations. So I have 2x plus 3x equal 5x, and plus y minus y equals 0, and 9 plus 16 equals 25. So to find x, I'm going to divide both sides by 5. So 5x divided by 5 equal to 25 divided by 5. So x going to equal 5. Now I have x, so I'm going to take it and replace it in one of the equation to, to find the other uh, verbal. So it doesn't matter which one I choose, they are both have the same uh, answer. So I'm going to take the first one, for example, 2x plus y equal 9. So I'm going to replace the x with the 5. So 2 multiplied by 5 plus y equal 9. 2 multiplied by 5 equal 10 plus y equal 9. To find y, I'm going to uh, subtract 10 from both sides. So minus 10 plus 10 plus y equal minus 10 plus 9. So y is going to equal minus 1. So now when we have the both uh, solution, we're going to check it in the both equation to see if they are correct or not. So let me take the first equation, which is 2x plus y equal 9. So I'm going to replace the x and y with the solution that I have. So I have 2 multiplied by x, which is 5, plus y, which is minus 1. Now I'm going to try to solve this. 2 multiplied by 5 equal 10, and uh, plus minus 1 equal minus 1. 10 minus 1, it's equal to 9, which is true. Now I'm going to move to the second one, which is 3x minus y equals 16. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to replace the x and y. So 3 multiplied by x, which is 5, minus y, which is minus 1. So I'm going to try to solve this. 3 multiplied by 5 equals 15. And minus 1, minus minus 1 equals plus 1. So 15 plus 1 is equal to 16. Which is true too. So now we can say the solution x, y going to equal... 5 minus 1. Well, let's move to a different example. We have here the first equation, which is uh, 4x minus 3y equal 25. And the second one, which is minus 3x plus 8y equal 10. The both uh, equation, they are in the standard form. Now I'm going to choose the which uh, verbal I'm going to eliminate. So I'm going to choose the x one. So before I eliminate, I'm going to multiply the first row uh, by 3 and the second row by 4. So I have here 4x minus 3y equal 25 and minus 3x plus 
8 y equal 10 so I'm gonna multiply the first row by 3 so 4x multiplied by 3 it's equal to 12x and minus 3y multiplied by 3 it's equal to minus 9y equal and 25 multiplied by 3 it's equal to 75 now I'm gonna move to the second equation so I'm gonna multiply it by 4 so minus 3x multiplied by 4 it's equal to minus 12x and the uh, 8y multiplied by 4 it's equal to 32y and the uh, 10 multiplied by 4 it's equal to 40 so now I can uh, add the equations so 12x minus 12x it's equal to 0 and minus uh, 9y plus uh, uh, 32y it's equal to 23y and 75 plus 40 it's equal to 115 so now to find y we're gonna divide both sides by uh, 23 so 23y multiply uh, divided by 23 equal to 115 divided by 23 so why it's gonna equal 5 now we have the y so we're gonna replace it in one of the equation it doesn't matter which one because it's gonna have the same uh, answer so i'm gonna take the first one for example so i have 4x minus 3y equal 25 so 4x minus 3 multiplied by y which is 5 equal 25 so 4x minus 3 multiplied by 5 it's equal minus 15 equal to 25 so now i'm gonna uh, add uh, 15 to both sides so 4x plus 15 minus 15 equal 25 uh, plus 15 so 4x gonna equal 40 so now I'm gonna uh, divide both sides by uh, 4 so 4x four equal uh, divided by 4 equal to 40 divide by 4 so x gonna equal 10 now we have uh, uh, x and y so we're gonna check our answer In both the uh, equation so first one it's 4x minus 3y equal 25 so I'm gonna replace the x and y so 4 multiplied by x which is 10 minus 3 multiplied by y which is 5 so 4 multiplied by uh, 10 it's equal to 40 and the uh, minus 3 multiplied by 5 it's equal to 15 40 minus 15, it's equal to 25, which is true. Now I'm going to move to the second one, which is minus 3x plus 8y equal 10. So I'm going to do the same thing. Minus 3x, which is uh, 10, plus 8 multiplied by y, which is uh, 5. So now I'm going to solve this. Minus 3 multiplied by 10 is equal minus 30. Plus 8 multiplied by 5 it's equal to 40. So minus 10 plus 40 it's equal to 10. Which is true too. Now we can say the solution x, y equal to 10 5 now let's move to the last example so we have here the first equation which is 12x minus 13y equal 2 and the second one minus 6x plus 6.5y equal minus 2 so both equation they are in the standard form now i'm gonna uh, determine which verbal i'm gonna eliminate so i'm gonna eliminate the x 
Before I eliminate it, I'm gonna uh, multiply the second row by uh, 2. So I have here 12x minus 13y equal 2. And the second one is minus 6x plus 6.5y equal minus 2. So for the first one, it's gonna stay the same. 12x minus 13y equal 2. And the second one, I'm going to multiply it by 2. Minus 6x uh, multiplied by 2 is equal to minus 12x. And uh, 6.5y multiplied by 2 is equal to plus 13y. Equal to minus 2 multiplied by 2 is equal to minus 4. Now I can add the equations. So 12x minus 12x equal to 0. And minus 13 plus 13 is equal to 0 too. Equal. And 2 minus 4 is equal minus 2. Here we find 0 equal to minus 2, which is not true. In this case, we say this is inconsistent. system with no solution. That's all for today. If you have any question, please leave, uh, feel free to leave it in the comment below. And if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe, like and share with your friend. And see you in my next video.